they learn to swim and they can be efficient lap swimmers later in life. They can do that now until they're 100. You know, we've had master swimmers that have swum to 100 years old and they can continue to compete if they want to. So there's the physical aspect of it, but I don't think that's the really important side. I think the important side is that they're learning to work at something to make themselves better. So they're going to get out of swimming what they put into it. So if they work hard, they see themselves improve. And they begin to correlate those two things, uh, work ethic with results. And that's an important lesson in life. I trust that Mike is a great coach and he knows what he's doing and he knows what's best for us. And so I'm willing to put in the hard work because I know that it'll pay off when I finally do it. What's your dream with swimming? Dream? I want to be the best that I can possibly be. This year, it might be breaking 20 at nationals. Uh, all time, we'll, we'll have to see about that. But, you know, just be the best I can be. How does he motivate you? Well, he is, uh, he is almost never wrong. Uh, it really helps when he predicted something at the beginning of a season, and then by the end of the season, you end up doing exactly that. You're like, all right, he knows what he's talking about. So that like really helps so that I'm gonna you know do exactly what, what he says. What kind of tips does he give you? Like? He works really hard to um, use data from last year and he uses videos and stuff to like critique exactly what we're doing and he uses uh, like videos from NCAAs and like the elite swimmers and compares those to us so he can um, like compare them and tell us what we can do better to be the best that we can be. Nice. Family, just when we all come together and no, well, every family thing. argues, yeah. but in the end, like you come together and when you work hard, like you just success, like I don't know, like you find success, I guess. Everyone's really supportive. Uh, we all work together to do our best. Kids, and I think people in general think that. You should have, you should be able to fix something instantly. There should be instant gratification. <laughs> Swimming's not like that. So I had a boy working on something tonight and I said, this is step one, understanding the concept and that you have to make change, but you're gonna need millions of repetitions before the change occurs. So you have to be patient with that. So uh, it, we do things, we do drills and, and drill sequences over and over for two reasons. One is that it's very difficult to get kids to pay attention when they're in the water and they're coming out of school. And so you can't necessarily assume you can move off of something. Uh, and so when I found that was working better, I just stayed with it. They seem to like that too, because they know what it is. They know how to do the drill. Um, and it just takes a lot of repetitions to finally figure something out. It's, a lot of kids, it's like a light goes off one day and they totally change. They get the concept and they run with it. Some kids, it takes a lot of work to get it. So, nothing wrong with being diligent and sticking with it. Though. Right. Perseverance. It's really a, an important life skill to know that something is that you want can be really hard sometimes and that there are challenges in your way and that you have to face them head on and work really hard sometimes to achieve goals. First thing is I think it teaches them to work at something. Okay, work ethic teach them to work for something. Goal setting, it teaches them to set a direction and figure out the things they need to do to get there. Problem solving, everything about their swimming is going to require that they 
answer questions about how can I do it better, improving technique. Time management. Swimming requires a lot of time to go to practice, so we had this talk last week about kids with academic issues. I said, you're not the first generation to do it. What swimmers learn is to be more efficient in how they use their time. They can't procrastinate. They have to get it done so that they can keep up with their academics because the final point would be discipline. They become disciplined not just in swimming but in school. So what I see is that all my seniors I've written National Honor Society letters for because they're the kind of kids that excel in school because swimming teaches them to have all these qualities that teach them to be good outside of the sport too. Mm -hmm.